Well, YouTubers, I had, so I attempted to do another load test and I was gonna to try to figure out how many kilowatts I could get from the power rack, but I kind of failed a little bit. Um, <laughs> so I started doing the load test with that 1500 watt heater and I was just gonna let it go until it killed the batteries. Well, I let it run for about 12 hours and then I had to go to work. So I switched it over to the 100 watt light bulb and figured I should be good until I get back. Well, it did shut off. The little tiny meter, I'll post a picture right here, said I got 11 kilowatts out of the battery pack, but that's the battery voltage side. I did have the other kilowatt meter plugged in, but since it's not like a battery backup, it doesn't save any of the data. So I don't actually know what the kilowatt was for the 120 volt side, but that's all right. I'll attempt the load test again a different day. So when I got home, I came down here and I started checking each battery pack for the week one, you know, find out if there's any more issues. And this one is, I think, the lowest one, and it is at 3.21 volts. I think I have another one that's like 3.27. All the rest are around 3.3 to 3.3, roughly. So I was gonna pull the pack out and see if there's any more broken fuses. Well, guess what? There is. And I think I broke some the other night when I was doing the live stream because I was really excited, you know. And I think I was pushing too much pressure up here on the on the positive side while I was checking all the voltages so many different times and I broke another fuse. So, I am going to Actually, I just saw it on one of Peter's videos where he put his fuses on the positive side, he put the fuses on the negative and put the, the negative wire up on top to help prevent those from moving. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but holy crap, I am gonna do that and hopefully that will help these from not breaking anymore. And I think it's only one fuse too, if I remember right. Where are you? Oh, okay, yeah, it's this one right here. This fuse right here, I'll zoom in on it. All right, so here's the glass fuse that is in question right now. If you look to the left side of it, I'm gonna move the bus bar and you'll see where they break at. And the actual fuse inside the piece of glass is broken on the right side. Crazy. That's what I'm trying to prevent. So that is pretty freaking crazy that it happened. So I'm gonna remove all four of these fuses here on the end and I'm gonna put them on the other side and then I'll put the copper wire straight across these and that should hopefully take care of that problem. And I'll just do it with all the packs so it won't have the problem anymore. Let's hope. And I don't think I need to use that capped on tape anymore. So win-win. I forgot to hit the record button, I'm sorry about that.
let's do a quick look on this end again to see if there's any other broken ones. Ah, f there is. All right, got another one. Should be good to go on that one, I hope. Now this one is magically back up to 3.27, and it was at 3.2 or 2.1. All right, let me go get another one. All right, this one is the other lower pack. I'll read the voltage here real quick. This one is 3.25, and this one does have three broken pieces of glass right here so i'm going to replace uh, all four of these and then this one right here okay on to the next i think they're partially connected if anybody wanted to know that because the actual cell voltage is also 3.25 3.25 3.25 3.25 .25, 3 .25, so I mean, it is connected, but I can see it in there. It doesn't even look connected, but maybe it's just barely holding on. So I'm gonna replace those real quick. Well, they're soldered on, but it is not pretty. I think I'm using the, a little bit higher. Oh, this is 4060, and I typically use 6040. Well, looks like I gotta get some more. That is more solid, more gooder. Well, I must have not hit the record button while that one was going on, but it is done now, and these are so much more solid now. Holy crap. I shouldn't break any more of those damn fuses, at least right here. Yeah, yeah. Boom! Alrighty. Well, I'm having some fuse problems, kind of. I think I just get too excited whenever I check the voltage of a pack. I just put too much pressure on those. So I'm gonna pull out each pack and check the rest over nice and good, and then do the whole fuse swap and cheese piece. Hopefully that will take care of the fuse breakage. So if anybody else is using the glass fuses on your positive end, definitely do that where you reverse them. It'll help a lot. Good job, man. I don't know if you figured that out, Peters, or if you got it from somewhere else, but holy crap, man, that is awesome. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of the packs and I'll let them charge back up tomorrow if we have sun, I hope, and then retry the load test again and go from there. Yeah, that's all I got. And I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully this was a quick one. A, I did, uh, well, it, and crook. All right, so here's an extremely crook close. So, um, well, and, 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 uh, but problem. Now it looks like I've got huge bags under my eye. But if I, if I turn this way, if I turn this way, you probably can't see, probably can't see him, right? Alrighty, I don't know, I'm just randomly talking now. <laughs>